Hey there, how y'all uh, doing? So, uh, you know, like, I, uh, I hope you're all doing good out there and stuff. Um, you know, I was, wanted to make this uh, little video on my brother. Um, you know, lately is like, I don't know, it's like, I feel like life's really come together and stuff. Um, you know, uh, I lost my brother 12 years ago in a, in a car accident and you know it really it really fucked me up it really fucked me up um you know he died when I was 20 um just two months before my 21st birthday um you know and like I, I don't want to make anyone sad if they're if they're trying to see like a new video of mine and you know they want to have a good laugh though but um i want to make this for anyone that's maybe lost a brother and stuff um maybe you lost him like maybe you lost your brother recently or something and i don't know i feel like it's the right thing to talk about right now and stuff um you know uh it like for me I wasn't 21 yet, and I didn't have my driver's license yet, and it took me about, like, even longer after that to get my driver's license and stuff because I was, you know, the fear of driving, like, really, really got to me, and, like, it really stopped me from progressing through my life and all that stuff, uh, you know, little little things have helped me and stuff, like, you know, just people in general. You know, new relationships can kind of inspire you to be a better man. Like, you know, it's just, like, to me, it kind of, like, but it's like when, like, when that relationship is over and stuff, it's kind of like you feel like you're falling back into a giant hole and all that stuff. And, you know, it's... Like, like, you can't do that and stuff. Um, you know, like, the best thing to do, like, if you have a friend that lost someone, is just support them and stuff. Uh, like, I remember when my brother died. We were, uh, we were supposed to go to San Diego to help my uncle go move. And it was, it was... It was so the anniversary was yesterday, technically and stuff. For some reason, I thought it was the f like for some reason I thought it was the fifth though. But I had some other tragedy, uh, confused and stuff. And you know that kind of got me to think like, I don't know if it's like. I feel like if you're not so concentrated on something, or, you know, maybe like, like I I, I think it's not a bad thing to forget like what day your loved one died or like someone from your family because i i feel that's um maybe that's a sign of that you're starting to move on i don't know like i remember when my brother first died in the first year i was just like you know it's, it, was, it was tough especially christmas time came around and everything because he died in november um Freaking, ugh. I went back to college for a little bit. Um, I went to Ventura Community College. I, uh, I, I was, I was building myself back up a little bit and all that stuff. Met, I'm, I met my friend, um, Sky Networks and all that stuff in college. Freaking, like he, he felt like a, like he felt like a brother to me, and all that. Um, but it's just like like he's he's been gone for 12 years and stuff and like it's like the pain of the loss of a loved one and everything just it, it just doesn't go away overnight and stuff like my brother he, he was my big he like he was my big brother um you know it's like 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 I'm I'm the little brother you know what i mean like as a little brother like like you know like you look up to your big brother for advice you look up to him for like to help you to protect you 
you know especially like if you get yourself into like into a crap situation this guy helped me i could have gotten my ass beat once and he, my big and my big brother was there for me and stuff um like little little things like that um kind of like just always made me miss him you know it's like you know it i would always think about the the great times that we had and it just made me so sad at first and it's just like year after year it's gotten a little easier you know i think about all the times that we used to play Yu-Gi-Oh all the time we just like you know this is before i'm 21 so i'm like <laughs> i'm having a good time my brother me and my brother would just drink freaking we'd be playing Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever and stuff all night fucking hell i'd give him like 25 dollars or whatever and shit or or you know like we would we would just buy beer or whatever and just play some Yu-Gi-Oh and shit and for you know like old school none of that like freaking xyz and all that stuff like me and my brother used to talk about it all the time dude freaking like like this one right here this one was a spirit card i don't know if y'all any if any y'all believe that kind of thing i'm just a big Yu-Gi-Oh. like i like i just love Yu-Gi-Oh. my my brother loved Yu-Gi-Oh, just like me and stuff and it kind of you know like i i still remembered about like how like how much he wanted to build this deck and all that stuff he was like man i want a dark magician girl i want all this stuff i want all this cool shit all these good combos and all that stuff and it's just like you know like like he didn't have really the cash to build up his own deck and stuff and that's what really made it even sadder for me and stuff um you know because after my brother died i had no one else to play Yu-Gi-Oh with and but you know it's you know it's not the end of the world like it was just it, it was hard on me it was it was really hard on me like what is it um last year like you know like it's always been hard on me even last year and stuff before i started dating my new girlfriend with you know it's like hell i i feel pretty good like now because like girlfriend got the kid and stuff and but yeah um you know like my my brother he had a girlfriend and you know like he was looked at like the stepdad and all that stuff and i think that's i i i feel like that's what's helping me like i feel like i'm like like i'm living like i feel like it's helping me and everything like just you know, just the way my life's going and everything it's like you know it's like i i live my life you know always having rg and having my brother with me all the time and uh you know it's just it's hard you know it's like you know i still miss the guy i do but um you know yesterday i didn't i didn't cry at all I didn't cry at all like and it was and i think it was just because i was just so happy i was with alicia i was with jake took him to a little birthday party and stuff you know he got to jump around and all this stuff play with other kids you know hugging the hugging the significant other just looking like oh look at him having fun look at him honey and like i don't know this is I feel like I I've gotten a little taste of what my brother, and I, I I feel like that that's helping me, but like, at the same time like, I thought about like what like what what could I do for my brother and all that, so, just one day, I was just starting to look through my brother's deck, and I was just I was remembering about. He was like, oh man, I wish I had all these good cards and all that stuff. And you know what? I started on a journey of sleeving every single card. Like, I, I've talked about it before in my streams. Like, like I started, like, that's, 
like when I started doing that, that was like the beginning of my my streaming career, like you know, all uh, well, that 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 was the that yeah, that was like the beginning of like my Facebook shit, and like you know, showing off my comics and all that stuff though. But you know, like I just thought of one day, I'm just gonna start helping my brother's deck, like. Like, I remember how he talked about, like, he's like, oh, man, I, I wish I didn't have this card and this card, though, but it's, it's what I need right now. Or it was like, hell, freaking, hell, I tricked out his deck so much, like, freaking, I gave him the, um, like, I threw in, like, Amulet Dragon and all that stuff, Dark Paladin, freaking Dark, <laughs> Dark Magician Girl Knight and everything, and but it's in Korean. He would find, I think he would find that hilarious. Um, but freaking, you know, I just started working on his deck and everything. I felt like that kind of helped me. It's like, I feel like, you know, you know, you know, like it was a while since I got my brother a gift a long time. And I was just like, I feel like that helped me, you know, it's like building his deck and all that stuff. You know, I was just like, screw it. You know, I was like, I'm going to give him the whole dark magician shit. The, you know, legendary Tamias Knight, you know, Strat and all that, Magician's Rod. You know, it's like, I just, I, I really went into it, man. Like, I really, I really gave a lot. Like, like I really gave him a lot of cards in it, you know? And so I was, just, and I felt like it made me happy. And it's like, and there's the, and the one thing that my brother really wanted was an Egyptian god. So I, I got an obelisk, the Tormentor, and I threw in my brother's deck and stuff. Though, so, but... Like, you know, like, I know I said, like, I feel like Dark Magician is his spirit card, though, but this was his real baby. This was his real baby and stuff. And, you know, it's just like, sometimes I'll have a little bit of, like, anxiety and stuff, and I'll just look through the cards just for no reason. Like, I feel I feel like a lot of people do that. They just look through the cards because they have anxiety. They're like, oh. you know, it's just like, they just like, like, they just want to have their mind off of something and all that. And it's like, hell, I, I feel like I'm having that itch right now. I'm sorry. But, no, seriously, like, I don't know. It's like, I like, every year, like, I always keep saying, like, I feel like I can move on a little bit more and more and more or whatever, though. But I always end up crying on the anniversary and stuff, though. And I didn't do it this time. You know, um... Like it, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of, um, a lot of figuring you out, figuring out like what's best for you. Like, you know, it's like a lot of times I just wanted to drown myself in alcohol and stuff, you know, like freaking like shit, you know, um, like, I just, like, I believe that, you know, there's hope out there, you know? It's just, like, you lose a loved one, though, but, you know, I guess, for me, it it's taken 12 years. And, you know, um, I think my brother would be proud of that, like, you know, he'd be like, I'm glad you don't miss me so much, you little crybaby. My brother used to give me so much shit. Like he was like, like, like he he'd be like, freaking like he like he he would give it to me blunt. That's what I loved about him. Like he would give it to me blunt. Like he was like he's the kind of guy I could always look up to, and he'd be the wiser one out of us and stuff. Like I know we kind of look alike. I know we kind of look alike. It's like, you know, it's like I always kept thinking about, like, what his life could be. What his life could have been, though. But, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm not really thinking about that lately and stuff. And I feel like, it's like, I, I shouldn't think about that. Like, I shouldn't dwell on what he would do now. Like, I think, like, honestly, I have a feeling that he would freaking try to do, try to be doing the same thing as me and stuff. Try to make content. Try to be a streamer and all that stuff. Because, like, my brother, like, he... Here's the thing about my brother. He, he's a great guy, though. It's just that, like, he, you know. 
like I'm, like you know like he he just didn't have like really like a like a settled job you know it's like i'm a security guard though but like i like my brother just never really figured that out and that's what made me also sad and everything because like i feel like if i'm pretty sure he never even fucking heard of twitch and all that shit but i'm pretty sure that like if he was still around like as soon as he started hearing about twitch i'd i'd feel like he'd be like really wanted to like stream and all that he'd be like fuck it i'm gonna use my console and all that and it's like just straight to console you know and that's you know it's like honestly i imagine you know it's like hell i had a dream a few times where like i'm like in front of my desk and it's like ah, oh, my brother raided me <laughs> like but yeah man you know um, like if there's anyone that lost a brother you know, um, it's all right, man. You know, it's just, I feel like if I can start to move on, anyone that's, like, lost a family member, I I think they're, like, you know, if there's hope for me, I think there's hope for anyone and stuff. Like, I think I, do, I, think I talk about my brother too much, though, but I feel like the move on on doesn't mean I don't love him, just means I don't think about him dying or I don't think about the day he died and all that stuff. And like, I just, I just talk about the good stuff now. And you know, it's like, and usually when people bring it up, it's like, Oh, what does he do now? And it's just like, you know, it's like, Oh, Oh, uh, well, like he, he actually like, he died in a car accident and stuff. Usually people are like, Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, 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 it's, it's, it's okay. It's like, I've like, I've moved on. It's okay. Like I appreciate it and stuff. And it's just like, you know, it's taking 12 years, though, but it's just, like, you know, it takes a lot of time, you know, and freaking, it's like, hell, I remember telling someone at the dispensary, like, I was like, you know, they asked me how my day was, I was just like, actually really great, <laughs> you know, blah, 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 anniversary, didn't cry, they're like, oh my god, they're like, you know, just... like, it's just, like, if, I feel good, you know, it's just, not a single tear, I tried. I tried to cry. I I tried to cry. So, but it's just, God damn it. I'm, f I, f I feel mentally good and stuff. And, you know, so I was thinking about like my father and all that stuff. Like, I, f like, I feel like with my father, like, you know, cause you know, my dad died two years ago and stuff like, um, I still miss him. Like, I'll still cry over my dad, though, but that's only because, like, I have my own family now. Like, I, <laughs> though, but, I, you know, I feel like I'll get there, like, the same way. You know, it's just, like, about my father and stuff. Like, you know, like, I feel like just being able to move on about my brother is helping me, like, a little bit like a little bit more with like with the passing of my father and stuff and you know it's like I I'm sorry to talk about grief like this is like this isn't my usual YouTube video well well I've just been talking lately <laughs> I still need to do multiverses uh, video and all that stuff though but you know um I'm sorry to jump off topic though but yeah you can do it you know, if, you know, wherever you are, whoever you are, if you're going through grief, you can do it. You know, I thought one day I owe it to my brother. I don't like, man, I think about it now. I owe it to my brother to be, to be happy. So, all right. I hope I haven't rambled on and stuff. I hope this has been therapeutic. So... All right, y'all have a good one, man. Go hug a family member, shit. Go hug your kid, go hug your brother, go hug your sister. Have a good time out there, you know? It's just, hell, the holidays are coming. Ooh, the holidays are coming. Have a good day. Hey, thanks for watching. Come hit that like and subscribe. Come take a look at the new merch shop and everything. Got some mugs. Get, come get yourself a t-shirt if you want. You know, just 
hell come join the discord got a facebook group come join me on twitter everything that uh, all of my socials are going to be in the description right below so uh thanks for coming man